Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to recover data from a formatted drive with a free program called Test Disk. You can actually get it from this website here. It's a free program to download. www.cgsecurity.org Come down to here where it says Windows, download that version. If you're using uh, Linux or Mac you can then download that version there. OK, let's get started. So let's open up our hard drives here. Now you can see this is the F drive, this is the drive that we're going to be recovering. Now I've got a file on here called XP thumb drive. Just going to quickly format that now so there's nothing on the drive. And that will clear the drive. Okay so the drive's now clean and we want to try and recover that file back. Now I've downloaded that program here as I said test disk and all you need to do is open that and drag the folder out okay once you get that out you need to come into the win folder and actually click on this icon here okay open that up and then basically look down for the hard drive that you want to scan on this is the 500 gig one that's the one we're going to be scanning on that's just a, a small little external one that I've got there so I can close this back box off now and uh, we're going to proceed on this one so push enter to proceed also Intel PC that's for Windows that's OK now you need to look over this side here and look for test that's the one I'm doing now yours won't be called test yours will be called whatever it's called okay so if you want to recover data on the C drive then obviously look for what it's called there now you've got some options down here for yourself to to look at we've got options go in here you can have brute force and all these other little options here we're not going to use any of those also file opt we can go in there which is file options and as you can see there's a ton of stuff in here and I'm just going to say B to save the settings so click B click OK and then quit out of there so what we want to do next is quit out of there and then come to this area here search and then we're going to search ok so we'll make sure you're on there click that now ext2 and ext3 is for Linux based operating system so if you've got a Linux based operating system you need to choose that one but we've got Windows so we're going to be clicking on that ok the free version is if you've just deleted a file by accident and you want to try and recover it that is the option that you can use okay so if, if you've right clicked and gone and it's gone out of the recycle bin you can actually recover it in that option but we're going to be using the whole option click on that now up the top here it will say do you want to save uh, recover files to your D drive and it will go inside that folder well I do so I'm going to say yes and that will be scanning now that will probably take about 10 minutes but what you've got to remember is never have the same whatever you're scanning you can't have the program on the same drive that you're trying to recover the data from because it won't work okay so it needs to be on a separate partition I'll just let this uh, scan up and what I'll do is uh, come back when it's nearly finished same three minutes that's coming down so I'll see you back in a sec okay that's just finishing reading the sector now as you can see a couple of seconds to go and that will now go on to the next phase let that finish this will it won't take an hour it will just come down really quickly so I'll just pause at this stage and let this stage finish and then we can move on to the, the next stage of looking at the files if it's recovered any OK, as you can see, that's now finished. We're just letting that transfer the file across. Time's all run out. Just let that finish its job. OK, so it's now recovering. 
Now that does take a little bit of time to come off of that last stage. It will say time zero to go, but you just need to wait, leave it. This light little light will be flashing here. Just leave it and it then will start to transfer the file across. Okay? So it's saying the file has been recovered and it's been saved to this directory. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the directory where it's been saved. It'll be in our D drive inside this folder inside the Windows folder and it's in here okay is create these folders when it's recovered the data and there you can see the actual data there now it does rename the file it doesn't keep the file the same name that's not so much of a problem so what we need to do now as you can see there's our recovered file with all our folders and files in it okay so I hope you enjoyed this video, my name is Brian from brighttech.co.uk If you enjoyed my videos please remember hit the subscribe button show your support If you've got any problems with your computer you can head over to our forum and uh, register there for free and post your problems on there and we will try to help you as much as we can. Okay, So thanks again guys, bye for now.